everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a downer video but that's okay because I have my monthly favorites coming up really really soon. So today's video is called 5 high end disappointing products. I've selected 5 disappointing products from my selection, from my collection upstairs that I thought were very disappointing and I'm going to start out with a brush because once you see what I'm talking about you'll understand why I'm disappointed. It's my beloved Dior foundation brush and look at it. it. I had to kind of tape the feral barrel thing with the wood handle thing because it came off and that I think that the only reason for this is because that the metal part is very short in comparison to the wooden handle. I would have really really appreciated if they would if they would have been more generous with their metal because it came off and I when I wash it it just I can't I can't not have the water part touch the wood and the metal part which makes the glue a little bit weaker and when I'm kind of applying my foundation it actually kind of there's like a pressure between the wood and the metal part so it kind of came off and I had to tape it just to make it more usable and for me to have this for a couple years longer because I don't want my 300 shekels to be wasted on nothing. This was expensive and it just came off and that's disappointing. But the brush itself is beautiful. It performs wonderfully. I can't talk enough good things about this part, but for me the packaging was a bit of a disappointment. So yeah, that is that. The second disappointing product for me was the new Guerlain um, eyeshadow formula. In particular, the number 14 or 17, I think it's number 17, which is called Le Violence. I swatched the three new eyeshadow formulas from the Guerlain line, the Quads line, and I purchased two because I thought that these two were my most favorite ones. Um, I have number 16, which is called Le Aciers, which is magnificent. But number 17 was very, very disappointing. The pigmentation is very poor, especially when you actually use it with a brush. As you can tell, I haven't used it much and I've had it for at least three months, at least. Um, and that's because the pigmentation is very poor and every time I use it, I get just frustrated because the pigmentation isn't there. And that's really disappointing for me because this is an expensive product. And you know how much I love my Guerlain Quads, but the new formulation of the Guerlain Quads is not as good as the older formulation of this. Especially with this quad right here and also the neutral one that they came out with from the same, you know, range of the reformulated one. So I wish that they would have had or would have kept the older formulation and brought out this quad because the colors themselves in the pan are extremely gorgeous. I mean, they are right up my alley. I love colors like that for my own personal use. But the pigmentation, again, is not amazing and I have to work really, really hard to get the effects that I want out of this quad. But again, the number 16, the S years one, is amazing. It's an amazing smoky eye quad. So yeah, that, that is that. Um, moving on to the third product, which is the Il Maquillage lipsticks. I haven't tried them on my lips because there is something about them that I just can't, can't, I can't, I can't tolerate the idea of having them underneath my nose because my nose actually smells things and these things smell awful. I have two colors. I have eggplant, which once you see it, you'll be like, oh, Carol, why don't you use it? It's amazing. I mean, it is an amazing color, but it's terrible. I mean, the formulation and the scent of it, well, the formulation I haven't tried, but the scent is awful. And then I have the shade Wine, which again, this is like beautiful gorgeousness, but they smell like plastic. They smell like plate or something, and I can't stand that. Moving right ahead, we have another product, another high-end product. We have the YSL Kiss and Blush Baby Doll um, Cheek Lips Hybrid Blush and Lipstick sort of thing. I have the shade number 5 and I don't think that it performs superiorly well on any part of the face. On the lips it tends to feel a little bit of drying. It feels like 
powdery on the lips and I don't want my lipstick to feel powdery on because I don't want powder on my lips I want something that's a little bit moisturizing and a little bit more emollient so it's not great on the lips and on the cheeks it feels like it doesn't blend out as nicely and as effortlessly as a powder would or even as the YSL cream de blush do because they're amazing but this one is just not not my favorite product I really want to get number nine because it's just a beautiful rosy color but because of the formulation I'm really having like my doubts and I don't know if I will be using it much so yeah that is that and then the final product for this video is actually very controversial because a lot of people love it and it's my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow and once you see why I don't love it you'll understand take a look at this it broke and it didn't break by falling it didn't break my by me abusing it or anything like that it just it was lying in my Muji drawers, untouched, never fell. And one day I opened my Muji drawer to use it and suddenly I noticed that the bronzer had cracked without any reason. But actually there were hints and there were like, you know, suggestions that this would actually happen. Because when I was going to use it, I would have, I would always find like tiny little kind of, you know, clumps of bronzer hanging around the palette and I felt like this might break but I didn't expect it to actually do I was like praying and kind of crossing my fingers please don't break please don't break but it did and that is very disappointing for me but other than that like in terms of the effect that it gives my skin and how beautiful or ugly it is it's really really beautiful but the fact that it broke without any particular reason is very disappointing for me. So yeah, that, I don't like it at all for that reason. This concludes this video. If you think that there are five products that you've tried that were very disappointing for you, please let us know in the description box because, I mean, it's always great to have a warning or for someone to tell us that this isn't as great as everybody says it is. So please leave them in the comments bar down below. I hope to see you all in the next video. Please, if you'd like to see me in future videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, don't forget to like this video and again, leave some comments down below. And I will obviously see you in the very next one. So um, yeah, take care and goodbye.